And the fight number nine, Nikolos Abramishvili from Georgia versus Klim Gusev from Spain. And you see how active is Nikolas Abramishvili. He participated in a world championship in Amsterdam last March. So you see how how good was the start for him. But now Klim is, is gonna find he's gonna look for submission. Not successful yet, but you see it's very, very intensive uh, start. It's very aggressive from the both sides, and I think both of the fighters don't they don't want it to last all three rounds. So now now Nicholas is looking for the takedown. Uh, Klim is successfully defending his takedown attempts. There was some minor problem with the equipment of Georgian fighter and now he is landing very good high kick and another one and Klim answers with another high kick from his own and wow maybe maybe this is a start of the epic brawl oh what an exchange what a great exchange from both sides but eventually Nicholas goes back to his submission attempts Klim has very good balance, as you can see, but now he's up in the air and uh, and Nicholas tried to take him down, but you see that that defense, defense uh, and balance of Klim is really, really impressive. It's the first time when Spanish fighter participates in the in the Gamma events, and now now he called on the on the guillotine. It's not that tight, so yeah. And now it's it's broken. The guillotine attempt. So now Klim is in the is in a guard of his opponent. So maybe that's a good position to be in, but I just don't know if if Nicholas has already done enough to 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 take this round, even if he will stay on his back until the end of the round one. So I think for Klim it's better to work from the top if he wants to take this round. And oh, submission attempt. It's quite tight. Armbar. And Nicholas, Nicholas tries, tries to finish this attempt. It's 10 seconds left. So will he be able to do it? Nah, not, not anymore. Klim defends very well, but he really, except, except his defensive skills, he really needs maybe to show a little bit more of attacking skills to get the round. So good, good round for both. Let's see how it will be in a round number two. And the round number two, all three judges gave the first round to the fighter from the red corner, Nicholas Abramishvili. But, but we saw that, that Klim had his own chances and uh, hopefully he will continue to look, look for the opening, look for maybe some attempts, uh, look for, the, for some opening to finish this fight finish his opponent but maybe it's better for him to stay off the clinch because as we've seen that's that's exactly what Georgian fighter wants 
So yeah, now we see that finally Gleb works from a distance because he has advantage in the length of his hands and legs and that's, I think that's what what was done really well and and yeah now now he just yeah needs to sprawl but oh and and Klim wants to work wants to work from the top but hopefully it will not be a mistake because you see that Nicolas like is very very confident you know even even staying on the bottom like okay let's see let's see how how Nicolas will work from a bottom position So at least right now, the first half of the second round, I think it goes in the favor of Klim. And you see, it's a crucifix, and and he works from a crucifix position, and and it's a very tough, very tough position for Nicolas. And that's what Klim Gusev does. He wins by the TKO when when Georgian fighter didn't reply to the to the landed punches. And eventually, Marco Brewerson had to stop the fight. So it's perfectly understandable. It's perfectly justified. And uh, congratulations to the representative of Team Spain, Klim Gusev, who is our next semi-finalist in this very crowded and very high-level weight class.